this is your clay build a bear. Um, this is a bear, and this I'm going to demonstrate how you make it out of clay. I think the first time we started this, um, it was a bit confusing, so I'm going to do a video. Uh, you're going to take the clay and you're going to divide it into three pieces. And uh, one piece I keep about this size. This clay is really wet. And roll the other clay. Yeah, I think this is about the right size. Into a clay ball. You roll it in your hands. And then you're going to separate this ball and you're going to make two pinch pots. Roll it into a ball, and then put your thumb in the middle, and squeeze down and rotate around, and your hands are pushing on the outside and pulling up. If you use a lot of pressure on the outside, the walls go up. Then take the other ball, about the same size, and you're going to make a second pinch pot. Put your thumbs down. Squeeze the clay up as you rotate it around. Okay? And you want a, an even thickness. And the two clay pitch pots should be about the same size. They fit right on top of each other. And kind of shape it before you attach the two balls. This is my cat. Okay, then you're going to join them. And that's your, the bear's body. Okay? And set it down on the side. Wherever you set it, it's going to flatten out, and you really don't want that. Okay, then you're going to make the head. Well, put it on the paper. Then you're going to make the head. And again, it's going to be two pinch pots, just smaller. And when you make the pinch pots, you roll it into a ball. And I'm rolling it a lot because the clay is really wet and it'll dry out the more I roll it. And then you're going to make another pinch pot. And they're about the same size. And then shape it and then join it. Joining is smushing it together. And then you're making it one clay piece. And now what you have is it's really a clay balloon. Okay, then you're gonna take the clay, and the clay can be solid for the arms and the legs. And looks like there's feet. Um, these directions are actually taken from a clay. Mag a book on how to make a bear. The ears. Okay. So you're going to take the body and your bear is sitting down. So you're going to take the head, set it on top, and then you're going to roll what's called a coil. Just, just a snake, but we're going to use the correct terminology, a coil. And you're going to join the head. So now it's just one piece of clay. It's not separate pieces. And when it dries, it won't uh, crack apart. Then you're going to take the legs and you're going to join them. Very important you join everything because if you don't, I'm going to have graveyards of legs and arms, and you're going to be sad when your projects fall apart. Then I'm going to take the two arms and join them to the body. And then a bear has a nose, or what is that called? Nostril, nose, face. 
snout, that's the right word. My son said that. And then you have two ears you're going to join. Okay. And then I'm doing this quickly. And, you know, I worked in uh, clay since I was probably six years old. Okay, so things are going to be a little bit more difficult for you guys to do. Okay, so now you're going to, you know, put the eyes and using a pencil. Do you have a pencil I can use? And you're making your career bear or your pattern bear. It's up to you which one you want to make. And hopefully we'll have a chance for everyone to make two bears. Okay, so let's see, what else? Well, it has a thumb. If you want to make a thumb for your bear. Draw the eyes, and whatever, uh, he made a lifeguard bear, or, you know, I'm going to let you guys do the rest, but that's just how the basic shape of your bear. And last thing, your name needs to be on the bottom, and your class period. And then you're done, and you'll glaze it, and you get to take it home before the end of the year. Okay?